25 through, 20, uh, through 37, and uh, it reads, 
And behold, a certain lawyer stood up and tested him, saying, Teacher, what shall I do to inherit eternal life? And he said to him, What is written in the law? What is your reading of it? So he answered and said, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your strength, and with all your mind, and your neighbor as yourself. And he said to him, You have answered rightly. Do this, and you will live. But he, wanting to justify himself, said to Jesus, And who is my neighbor? Then Jesus answered and said, A certain man went down from Jerusalem to Jericho and fell among thieves, who stripped him of his clothing and wounded him and departed, leaving him half dead. Now by chance a certain priest came down uh, that road, and when he saw him, he passed by on the other side. Likewise, a Levite, when he arrived at the place, came and looked and passed by on the other side. But a certain Samaritan, as he journeyed, came where he was, and when he saw him, he had compassion. So he went to him and bandaged his wounds, pouring in oil and wine, and he set him on his own animal, brought him to an inn, and took care of him. Now on the next day, when he departed, he took out two denarii, gave them to the innkeeper, and said to him, Take care of him, and whatever more you spend, when I come again, I will repay you. So which of these three do you think was neighbor to him who fell among the thieves? And he said, He who showed mercy on him. Then Jesus said to him, Go and do likewise. Before we pray, I'd like to read a little bit of Romans chapter 5 with you. So if you have a Bible, uh, you can open to Romans chapter 5.
Romans chapter 5. Therefore, since we have been declared righteous by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. We have also obtained access through him by faith into this grace in which we stand, and we rejoice in the hope of the glory of God. And not only that, but we also rejoice in our afflictions, because we know that affliction produces endurance, endurance produces proven character, and proven character produces hope. This hope will not disappoint us, because God's love has been poured out in our hearts through the Holy Spirit who was given to us. For while we were still helpless, at the right time, Christ died for the ungodly. For rarely will someone die for a just person, though for a good person perhaps someone might even dare to die. But God proves his own love for us, and that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. How much more then, since we have now been declared righteous by his blood, will we be saved through him from wrath? For if, while we were enemies, we were reconciled to God through the death of his Son, then how much more, having been reconciled, will we be saved by his life? And not only that, but we also rejoice in God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have now received this reconciliation. Let's pray together. Father God, we just... Uh, So much to say, Lord, and, and, and words probably wouldn't be enough, but we just say thank you. Father, we praise you for your grace, for the mercy that you have shown us, Father. God, we come to you this morning as people who are redeemed, Father, as people who... Um, have been saved, and we thank you for that. But, Father, we also come as people who hurt, Father, people who struggle, Father, people who um, question, Father, sometimes people who turn our backs. And, 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 God, we thank you that you never give up on us. Father, we thank you that... Um, I won't get the words exactly right, but like the song says, Father, your, never, your love never gives up and never runs out. Father, we just thank you. Father, thank you for your grace and mercy. Father, thank you that you um, paid a price for us that we could never hope to pay. And we just praise you for that, God. We praise you for the grace uh, that comes through our Lord Jesus. Father, we thank you that... He turns to us, uh, kneeling on the ground with tears in our eyes, and, and says, your sins are forgiven. God, we thank you, and we praise you for that. Father, as we take this bread this morning that represents his body that was um, broken for our sake, we just uh, pray that we'll reflect on your grace and mercy and um, all that you have done and all that you're still doing each and every day, Father, and we... Uh, Ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Pray with me again. Father, again, just uh, continue in this memorial to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. God, we just uh, thank you for your grace. Thank you for your mercy, God. Thank you that um, We are reconciled, we are redeemed, Father, that we uh, serve a Savior who, who 
died for us, but, but Father, who also lives on now. Uh, we just thank you for that, God. We thank you for um, his blood that was um, shed so freely, so willingly for our sakes. And uh, just uh, pray that as we partake, we will uh, reflect, God. And uh, we ask these things in Jesus' name. Amen. To see the dawn of the darkest day, Christ on the road to Calvary, tried by sinful men, torn and beaten then, nailed to a cross of wood. There's the power. Sa <laughs> 
Sagrado, cúbreme tú, Señor, cúbreme tú, vino de agua frisón, tú es mi protección, Señor, por tres, yo moro.